All right, everybody. Here we are together at last. Wednesday, February 6, 2019, the day after the State of the Union. I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, let's start off with the basics. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are flat. Nothing really going on here. Ten-year yield, though, is coming down a little bit. Let's keep our eye on that. Why do I think that might be an issue here? Might. is because we're... The stock market stocks are hitting right up against that 200-day moving average. The last two times we went above it, we got a sell-off. Not saying that's going to happen here in this extremely fake environment, but let's watch it. All right. With that said, let's move forward here. Uh, State of the Union. The President of the United States hit on some very excellent points. In my view, that's the truth. Um, however, I want to talk about what he failed to do because it's, it's bigger than all of the successes that he touted last night. Look, we already knew what he was going to do, and that is tout the economy. All right. We're adding all these jobs, or this group of people, lowest unemployment, this group of people, lowest unemployment, economy booming, hitting on all cylinders. But again, it's look here. Don't look here. Yeah, sure, everything appears to be good, but don't pay attention to how we're doing it. Don't look at debts and deficits exploding like we have never seen before. This is the truth. We've never seen it like this before. That should not be a surprise either. Every single, um, unfortunately, this is the way it works now, a uh, president has to borrow more from than the last guy did just to sustain where we are. That's the nature of the debt-based economic model that we are in. Okay. Our president last night talked about a lot of programs that he wants to institute and was asking for, for money from Congress here. Uh, all kinds of legislation. What it seemed to me like he wants to legislate the United States into bankruptcy. We're already a bankrupt nation. We are the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. The president last night did not mention a word, not one single word about, well, how we're going to pay for it all. That's pretty big. Or cuts of any kind. It's all about spend, spend, and then spend more. The guy does not have a blank checkbook. I think he believes he does. Um, I thought that Honestly, and I made a, I believed he was going to bring our fiscal house in order. All he has done is bring the Federal Reserve to the top of the pyramid and beyond. Of course, all this legislation that he's talking about is going to require more money printing from the Federal Reserve. Cash printed out of thin air. A debt burden on your back and on your children's back way greater than before. People, the United States is a debt slave nation. Any child that is born into the world today, if you happen to be an expecting mother and you give birth today, your child is born a debt slave. A debt slave. That's the truth. People, look, you can be distracted by a wall. I explained to you the real reason behind the wall in the past, but let's not even go there right now. The greatest threat to humankind, forget about here in the United States as well, but all over the world is the debt bubble. It's a global phenomenon. The debt bubble is going to burst. When? Who knows? But it's going to. How do we know that? Every single financial bubble in the past, without exception, has burst with devastating consequences. We have never seen anything like this one before. We are borrowing from the future in greater and greater amounts just to sustain where we are. It's a resource problem. Once the debt bubble bursts or the dollar loses its reserve status, okay, that'll punish citizens here in the United States even worse because of irresponsibility by our leaders, not just our president, all, all of our leaders who are on the same team, two heads of the same snake, you know that. It looks like there is a, an ongoing battle here to remove the dollar from its reserve status and you have no idea what that's going to mean for you, your family, uh, on a personal level. Some of you might understand the ramifications of this, 
but on a grander scale, when this debt bubble bursts and this, the fiat currency orbit evaporates, because that's what it is, all these fiat currencies are, these are unbacked liabilities being dispersed by bankrupt governments. And it seems that our president is going to legislate us further into bankruptcy. Sure, like I said, if you need to hear it again, because I know some of you do, uh, he did raise some good points. How are we going to pay for it all? He didn't mention that and nothing at all about cuts. I found that very disturbing. Um, anyway, the greatest threat is not the wall. The greatest threat is not even nuclear war. The greatest threat is the bursting of this debt bubble because resources will become scarce. We all transact in fiat currency. We'll have to resort to a barter system at one point. The debt bubble, I can't overstress this, is a financial monster. And it seems that leaders around the world are feeding it. Every single one, including our president, clearly by what he said last night and what he did not say last night. With that said, I, I, all I can do is hope for us all. I really can. We need some, we need somebody, really, and I was hoping it was going to be this guy, to rein in uh, some of this unbelievable spending. But it seems like that's all we're going to get is more spending, more borrowing, more exploding debts and deficits. Well, who does that sound like? Who's been explaining that to you? Forever. I told you it was going to stop. It's not going to stop. It's going to get much, much worse. And who's going to pay for it? You are, one way or the other. All right, I'll see you at the end of the day. And uh, so keep an eye on this market here, 200-day moving average. Watch that 10-year yield. See you later.